in Fairborn, a big shakeup for the United States Twirling Association, who were sued for more than $4 million in damages. This is after a 2019 trip for their Team USA Twirlers ended with a 17-year-old being sexually assaulted. Tonight, the organization is holding a town hall for community members to address the incident and how the USTA responded. In an interview you'll see only on 2, 2 News reporter Leah Seabrooks talked with a former member of the organization. This week at the Nutter Center, athletes from around the world will be competing for national titles. But in just a few hours, community members will be speaking directly to the United States Twirling Association about a sexual assault investigation that happened years ago. So what they went through was, it was out of a movie. It was like they were living a nightmare halfway across the world. Trina Catterson recounts hearing what her former teammates experienced on a team trip to Peru in 2019. In June, a jury in the Eastern District Court of New York found the United States Twirling Association guilty of negligence regarding a minor who traveled with the group on that trip. Court documents narrate the trip where a minor was given a quote special mojito and later was sexually assaulted. They couldn't do much about it because they weren't given any resources to do anything about it. The judge's ruling included a nearly $4 million payout to the victim from the USTA on June 12th. Days later, on June 17th, the organization filed for bankruptcy. In a statement to 2 News, the USTA says the group publicly acknowledged the incident on June 13th. They also say they were not aware of the 2019 sexual assault until August of 2022. The group says they are also taking increased safety measures, including requiring background checks for professional members age 21 or older and no longer participating in trips sponsored by other entities. This week in Fairborn, the USTA will be holding their national competition and addressing community concerns in a town hall. We just want accountability and I think that the girls that were on that trip and their parents are deserving of an apology. Tonight's town hall starts at 645 in the Nutter Center's Berry Room. You can find more resources about how to report sexual abuse on our website, WDTN.com. In Fairborn, Aaliyah Seabrooks, 2 News.